Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Mike Falzone. I'm William Haynes. Before we start today, I want to make you aware of a show that Phil's been hosting called This Week on Fire over on YouTube.com slash Amazon Fire or DeFrancoFire.com. However you want to get to it, after this, what we're doing. Do you like TV shows, but your favorite one is about to end and now you don't know what to watch? Do you want to have a show to watch, but you're unsure the specifics of them and you want someone who is intelligent, like Philip DeFranco, to tell you? Yes or no? You want somebody with a baby who knows about being a father to let you know what it's like to go on Amazon and get the right shows on your eyes? Is that where they show shows now? Yeah. $60 braces? What? Sounds like a story. Amos Dudley, a design student from New Jersey, just saved himself at least thousands of dollars by manufacturing a set of his own braces via 3D printier. Amos used the high-end printer at the New Jersey School of Technology, so he really only had to pay for the materials that he used, bringing the whopping total cost to about 60 bucks. Compared to the $8,000 Mike's parents wasted on him not wearing his retainer, this guy's in great financial shape. How much does it cost to grow my mustache over my whole mouth? Just the price of never being kissed again. Now apparently Amos is getting a bunch of different requests from his friends and other people who don't want to spend thousands of dollars to do their own braces. And you could submit your own request at, oh, I guess I'm a f***ing orthodontist now.com. Will Great Britain needs our help! Oh no, not them. The Natural Environment Research Council is building what will become the most advanced research vessel of all time, or one of them is a ship that tells science. But first, they need a name for it. The problem is they left naming the ship up to the whole internet. Then the internet did what the internet does and suggested the boat be called Bodie McBoat Face. 18,000 votes later, Great Britain said, nah. So let's take a look at the criteria, and I quote, the boat must be in RSS name format. And secondly, we would like it to be inspirational and about the environmental and polar sciences. Okay, let's give them a bunch of free ones. How's Melty Rudders? RSS Drifting Beers. RSS Freezing McTits Off. RSS Walrus Station. Salty Hard Bottom. The Frosty Bottle Opener. RSS Frosty McDeck. Freezing McDinging. RSS Science Finder. The RSS. Boats and snows. Boats and snows. If you want to crack a name in this expensive nerd ship, they'll be accepting submissions until April 16th. So watch out. Or just plagiarize us and put those into the, you could vote for those. Also the same day that Drake's new album, Views from the Six, comes out. They should call it that then. They should call it Views from the Six. Casio just made a selfie camera that automatically perfects your face by getting rid of all of your blemishes and making it slimmer and whiter, a little bit racist. The camera costs about $1,000, which is also exactly the amount of money that you could save by being okay with the way you look. You ever feel like people need to calm down on that whole, I don't want to look like myself trend going? On. I really enjoyed that when a woman was asked how she felt about the absurdity of the gadget, she said, It's not like it moves you way up on a scale of prettiness. If you're a seven, the camera makes you an eight, not a nine or a ten. It's not that crazy. I could be a six. Tops. Technology is certainly getting out of hand from Snapchat face swaps to literally everything these days. A team from Stanford and the University of Erlingen Nuremberg is the exact right way to pronounce it, recently put out a video where they showcase their software called Face to Face and makes face swapping too simple. In the video, they show how anyone's face can be used to make a person in a video say anything. They use George Bush for some reason as the example, and Vladimir Putin like, oh, here, we can make all your favorite white men say whatever you want, and we can lead you guys like that. This is scary. They're also in control of very distinct movements like eyebrows and mouth placement, where your mouth is. If this is what some dudes at some schools have access to, imagine what our government has. They got way better stuff. Mission Impossible gum. Toast. I bet you the government has a toaster that when you put bread in it, you can get in a machine gun rifle out of it. Oh, shit. Realistically, Obama probably hasn't left the Oval Office in like two years. Yeah, and I bet you Bill O'Reilly isn't even real. He's a computer program. Uh, Bill O'Reilly doesn't work for the government. Yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Uh, it's an aha moment. Have you ever felt different before? You ever feel a little animalistic? I don't know what that means, but I used to watch Animorphs in 1997. And that's what I think you're getting at. Did you watch Zumbafu? I didn't really watch either of those. I was just making a joke and hoping you didn't call me out on it. <laughs> Well, I did. Well, for those of you who don't believe in evolution, if those people still exist, the scientists are now suggesting a super simple way to explain it. We have many characteristics carried over from our previous forms as people before we are what we are today. Like, for instance, if you don't have a vestigial muscle, you're not meant to climb trees. If you don't have a vestigial muscle, you're different. <laughs> Take some of that science, you non-science believers. Go climb a tree, but you can't probably as well as the 
rest of us who have the vestigial longus. I'm vestigial? You vestigial? I'm actually just recently vestigial. That's why I'm a little cranky this morning. I used to be vegetarian, but now I'm vestigial. You're vestigial now? Yeah. Because yeah. we just went to breakfast and well, you definitely had bacon, so I'm, I don't think you're very no, no, vestigial. No, no, no. I'm an intersectional vestigial. That means you only go to diners that meet where two streets happen. Yeah, yeah. And if it has eyes on the front? Like the letter I. <laughs> I don't do Intestines. it. Intestines. I don't do it. Guys, go over to the Amazon thing that we were talking about before. Go ahead and extinguish it with your... Click on it. Do you have a vestigial thing? If you go like this and put your arm down, do you climb trees about it? Would you buy a $1,000 selfie camera that's guaranteed to make you prettier? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm William Haynes. I'm Mike Falzone. I wasn't done with the questions. Hello. Welcome to SourceFed. My name is Bui Esrig. Obviously, it wasn't an abduction. Do you know how boring it is kidnapping children with no flow?